Hello and welcome to All Shorts. And Wally wants to say hello. Oh no, he wants to get in the shade instead. You know how it is that we go through life and uh, we put our trust in manufacturers to produce foodstuffs that, well, are not toxic, that doesn't poison us. At the moment, we've got problems with food being imported in the United Kingdom because they're not getting checked. Apparently, they're going to be checked at the end of the year, but they're going to still have a light touch approach. You know, post-Brexit checks and all that that haven't been um, imposed on imports into the United Kingdom as yet. Well, that's obviously going to be catastrophic. But that's not what this video is about. It's more about the PFAs. And I've talked about poly... Um, uh, floral substances, anyway, PFA chemicals, uh, nicknamed uh, forever chemicals because you, well, you ingest them and you can never get rid of them. They stay in your body, a bit like asbestosis. You know, asbestos, when it gets into your lungs, it stays there, carry on scratching the pleural layers until eventually you get asbestosis. Not very pleasant. No, reduced lung capacity and all that. Well, these PFAs, apparently, they can cause similar problems in your, digest um, your digestion tract, you know, you, yeah, down there in there and stuff yeah McGill apparently um, or at least that's what the scientists are, are starting to say with certain research anyway now we've been lied to on more than one occasion and manufacturers uh, got a habit of doing so now a subgroup of PFAs now this happens to be in, in the Guardian I'll leave a link in the description down below of these particular chemicals called uh, fluoro, uh, fluorotelomas um, and they were billed as a safe replacement for these PFAs. If you wonder where the PFAs are, for instance, they'll be in your non-stick pans. They've got PFA chemicals. They've been about for like, since the 1930s or something. Quite a long while, um, these chemicals have. And uh, over a period of time, you know, we've been ingesting them and uh, not doing us a lot of good. Well, the situation is getting much worse than anyone first thought. Well... These uh, fluorotelomas, which were billed as a safe replacement for, the, for a first generation of PFAs compounds, um, but they've now largely been phased out in the USA because they're saying that they're not safe. Now, The Guardian it was revealed in 2021 how the chemical manufacturers had hid research. This is why we can't trust these people. The only way you're going to guarantee that your food is safe is if you grow it yourself like we do here in France. You know, we pretty much grow most of our food. We do buy some stuff in because, you, you know, it's either not practical to do so or you just can't grow it here anyway. I can't grow avocados. Megan would never want to come here. No. Well, <laughs> so, so the new study highlights how the compounds can move from packaging into food. So now it's even in our cardboard. No, not any old cardboard, we're talking about the recyclable stuff. It's been added to the recyclable cardboard. So, you know, you might think you're doing some good, but you're poisoning yourself at the same time. So that ain't very good, is it? No. So researchers say that the paper used in this packaging, well, it highlights the need to ban the use of PFAs in the food packaging altogether. It shouldn't even be there, really. What, what, you know, it's bad enough it's in our frying pans. <laughs> so our eggs don't stick. Or omelettes. Well, it's continued, the continued use of PFAs in food packaging should be questioned given the opportunities for the chemicals to release and exposure. And uh, the study's author wrote, it can end up in our bodies. Now the PFAs, as per the polyfluoroalkyl substances, are a class of about 14,000 different chemicals. Yeah, it's going to be quite hard to avoid, isn't it? Often used to make products um, resistant to water stains and heat they are called forever chemicals uh, and because they do not actually naturally break down and they are linked to cancer liver problems thyroid issues and that's i have thyroid problems i have to take um oh uh, i forgot what it's called now thyroxine every day um it's a tiny little tablet but you have to, I still have to take it every day uh, birth defects that might be me as well uh, kidney disease uh, decreased immunity and serious health problems so some of these uh, ailments you might be suffering from uh, or you might be suffering from for some while it might be down to these PFA chemicals so my point is really we go through our life trusting uh, what is put in front of us oh it must be okay they're selling it to us so that must be right a bit like smoking it's promoted as a health benefit at one point and uh, now we all know it kills you so yeah, it's not great, is it? 
No. So we cannot trust these buggers because all they're really interested in is making money and they're falsifying um, research so they can make more money. That's probably the long short of it, isn't it? It's all down to money again, isn't it? Hey, honey? So anyway, what do you reckon? Please leave it in the comments down below. And what can we actually do about this? And how can we avoid this stuff? Especially if you haven't got the ability or the, um, you know, the land even to be able to grow your own food and protect yourself that way. So, yeah. It's not great, is it? Anyway, you tell me. Leave it in the comments down below. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, where did it today? I forgot. Oh, I did that mad minute ago. I'm going to go for charlatan. Because that's what these flipping companies not just the Tory party but the companies are as well they're a bunch of flipping charlatans they're lying to you you can't believe what is written on the packet even the food imported in, into the United Kingdom isn't necessarily what they say it is and if they're not doing any checks how do they know so anyway it's time for me to go and say ta-ta you know so ta-ta and if you've got to support the channel please beep the whole like button but also there's the Patreon and the buy me a coffee and the links are down below ta-ta